Okay, Aries, it's time for your love reading. The sun is going down a little, but you know, we're gonna do what it do. If it goes down a little too dark, then I'm gonna just turn on the light or turn on my ring light, either or. My light isn't really that bright for a camera, so I might just have to turn this off and put up my ring light. But this is your love reading, Aries. I'm shuffling the decks now. I already cleansed them with some Palo Santo, which you can purchase off the link in the description box, which is my website. You can also buy this Oracle deck that I created, the Masculine's Oracle COVID-19 edition. And you can also book your personal readings through the link in my description box. Did you guys miss me? Are you guys happy to see my face? <laughs> I got a face piercing. That's really why I haven't shown myself. Cause you know, when you first get it done, it'd be all bloody and icky and all that. So I ain't want y'all to see that now. So yeah, I'm back. Alrighty. So Aries, let's get into your love reading. What's going on in your love life, Aries? It looks like you're debating if you should walk away from someone or if you should distance yourself from someone. Um, two of Swords here with the Three of Wands. It looks like you're debating. You're indecisive on if you should walk away from someone or distance yourself with a ten of swords. I, I see it's because you feel backstabbed or betrayed by this person. You feel like this person um, did you dirty some way. And it's like you're indecisive on, okay, should I stay? Should I go? What should I do? Or you may feel like you can't trust this person. Something along those lines. Let me move those charms. Alrighty. Aries, how does your person feel about you? This is somebody that you have history with. So if you're talking to someone new, um, this may not be the reading for you. With the Six of Cups that came out, this is definitely somebody who you have history with. Someone that you've known for a while, maybe for years, maybe since um, childhood, maybe since high school, middle school, elementary. Ooh, these cards is just flying out. We have the Four of Discs. They don't want to let you go. I feel like this person tends to reminisce on the memories a lot and they don't want to let you go. It's like right when they think they should let you go or right when they want to let you go or whatever the case may be, it's like they think of the memories and it's like, no, I can't let this person go. Um, not to say that your person want to leave you. I just see that they don't want to let you go. It could be because of, you know, the things that y'all been through together, the memories, or they just don't want to let you go in general. But with the Wheel of Fortune, That doesn't even feel right these two cards flew out and that didn't even feel right so let me pick another card okay eight of wands they could be um expressing their feelings soon enough they could be expressing their feelings princess of disc is at the bottom of the deck so that makes me feel like they're working their way to um expressing their feelings it's like how can i put it it's like um it's like they're they're building up the courage to express how they feel about you I stay silent when people mention you. That card flew. Okay, let me get this card. That card flew. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so I got the table moving and on. All right, I stay silent when people mention you. I feel like when people tend to mention you, they don't entertain the conversation. Not mention you as in talking shit, it could be. But I see it more as, you know, them asking, how is so-and-so doing? How is, have you seen so-and-so? Have you spoke to so-and-so? Oh, so-and-so posted this. Did you see that? Like, just bring you up some way, somehow, but they don't really entertain the conversation. Like I said, your person is reminiscing on the past, reminiscing on the memories that you two have together. I reread our text messages came out. They reread y'all text messages, whether it's text messages from when y'all was arguing or from when y'all was good. Either way it goes, this person tends to reread it. I feel like it may be from arguments because I wish I could take back my words came out. So I see that this person, that could honestly be what it is. Um, it came out right on top of the Eight of Wands. So that honestly could be what it is, them taking back their words, them apologizing, them saying that they didn't mean it and just letting it be that at the bottom of the deck it's sometimes i stay awake thinking about you this person thinks of you heavily i told you that they tend to reminisce on the memories and i feel like that's what replays in their head not all day but a lot of the time memories play in their head of you two like maybe you two listen to an album together and when that song when a song from that album comes on it's like oh 
oh my gosh, I used to listen to this with so-and-so. Like, I see that this person tends to really reminisce on YouTube. Aries, how do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this person? Let's see. So we have the king of swords you're trying to be mature you can be older than this person possibly or this person could be older than you um they could be a father or a mother um but with the king of swords i see that you're trying to be mature i feel like when you finally communicate with this person or when you finally speak about the things that's bottled up that you're gonna try and be mature about it or you should be mature about it be logical be mature um don't you know act all crazy and nutty and this and that no um definitely be mature i see that you're gonna be mature anyways but you know i'm agreeing with you i'm confirming it be mature um with the wheel of fortune though i see that you hope things will change for the better with this person i feel like you're not getting exactly what you want from this person or out of this connection and that shit has you stressed and it's like dang like like i hope things change like i just see you having hope for the future with this person. All right. So first card, I couldn't let you close to me. I feel like you're finally gonna let this person be close. I feel like you're gonna finally open up. Even if it's the slightest bit, you're gonna open up um, towards this person. I drown out the pain by working. You could be picking up extra shifts to avoid this person or avoid thinking of them. I wish I could go back in time. I see that you wish you can go back in time to really change things. Honestly, I feel like you wish you can go back in time so you can be more vocal about what you want from the connection and how you feel about this person. It's like, you know, things has been going too far and yeah, it's going far, but it's not going how you want it to be. So it's like, damn, like I wish I could go back in time and really be vocal about how I feel. And then we were too immature. You could feel like in the past, you two are very immature, very childish and, um, and that could be where the issue lies in the connection. Okay, okay, okay. I see that you two have strong feelings for each other though, but I feel like you two aren't being honest about how you feel towards one another. Like I feel like you two just aren't being honest. But I'm gonna go into the outcome and then I am gonna get into some charms. Y'all love the charms. I peeped it. Y'all love the charms. <laughs> okay. What's the outcome between Aries and this person? You could be dealing with another Aries. I don't know why that came into my head. The outcome. I see, honestly, Aries, you're going to be stressing because it's like they're not giving you exactly what you want. We have the Nine of Swords with the King of Cups. They're not giving you exactly what you want. And I feel like that's going to have you stressing. That's going to have you, like, dwelling on it. I see that you want a big, like, gesture from this person that shows, like, okay, yeah, they do care about me. Or, yeah, they do love me. Or, yeah, they do want to be with me. Like, I see that you want some type of grand gesture. But you're stressing because you haven't got it. Uh, clarification on the magician. The magician clarified by the high priestess. Let me try and okay so um honestly i see that you need to stay focused trust your intuition if your intuition is telling you to leave this connection alone you don't have to leave it alone completely but at least just distance yourself and focus on your job on a hobby on your craft on this and that i see that once you focus on yourself look at this the four of wands is at the bottom of the deck once you focus on yourself once you really like pay attention to everything that's in front of you everything that you have and use that to your advantage for yourself not for the connection but for yourself like let's say you you started a business but you're not really paying as much attention to it uh-uh don't do that focus on your business i see that once you're focused on other things that's when this person will come in and give you exactly what you want they're gonna give you exactly what you want but you have to balance things out in your life and you have to figure things out in your life before they can just come in and you know give you all this love and happiness and all that like no you need to really focus um on yourself 
it's like you're stressing so much about this connection like does this person want me does this person like me why are they acting like this why are they acting like that it's like you're stressing so much about this connection that you're not really focusing on you and that's that's the issue at hand that's why things isn't going at the pace that you want it to be but i'm gonna go ahead and get into these charms i'm gonna close my eyes i'm gonna go ahead and pick i picked two i'm gonna pick one more Oh, ah, ah, look what we got here. <laughs> I'm so extra. Look at what we got here. We have the lock and the key. So you have the keys to this person's heart. If you think that this person doesn't like you or they don't want you or they're not interested in you, stop. Stop because they do. They do like you. They are interested in you. They honestly have love for you. We got the, the lock with the key that's good this person likes you so if i feel that you're second guessing i could feel it somebody's second guessing the other person's feelings but don't second guess it because the love is definitely there or the feelings is definitely there now we have an oval or an egg for some of y'all you could be waiting on your menstrual cycle for some of y'all you need to start using protection before you have to you know wait on your menstrual cycle and and sit days at a time like okay okay is it coming is it coming today is it coming today is it coming tomorrow yeah no definitely take the precaution that you need to um unless you want to start a family with this person then go right ahead you know fuck the condoms fuck the contraceptions but um if you're not if you're not ready for that then definitely um take the precautions because this looks like an egg to me i say oval or an egg because i don't know which one it could be but it's definitely something egg shaped so be careful with that um that could also represent maybe this person has um family elsewhere or starting a family elsewhere that doesn't apply to everyone so you know don't make it apply but if you feel that in your heart like damn this motherfucker might be pregnant by somebody else or this motherfucker got somebody else pregnant something like that if you're if that's what you're feeling in your gut you might be right so just keep an eye out for that but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading make sure y'all like make sure y'all subscribe um make sure y'all subscribe because i will be doing a giveaway once i get to a thousand subscribers this giveaway is going to be the biggest giveaway that i ever did i'm gonna pick three winners and each winner is going to have different prizes all the other giveaways that i did it was only one winner each giveaway but this time is going to be three and it's really good stuff y'all so make sure y'all subscribe um and yeah thank you for watching you guys bye